in Asian, if ChatGPT not only can answer your question, but also can do the task for you, like AI assistant take an action on your behalf. This video introduces new ChatGPT agent. Hey guys, my name is Vlad and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back and thank you so much for your support. In this video, we're going to talk about new things. It's a chat GPT agent. It's not Codex. It is an AI assistant that can do the task for you. Different task, coding task, researching task, slides, spreadsheet, and so on. And in this video, we're going to talk about multiple use cases. I'm going to show you how to use it. And of course, I'm explaining you what is chat GPT agent. If you are ready, then let's get started. Recently, OpenAI introduced ChatGPT Agent. Basically, it is a tool that extends functionality of ChatGPT. The agent is still using core model, but now it's not only responds to user input like a conversation partner. A ChatGPT agent enabling the model to take specific actions such as browsing the web, booking appointment, integrating with external tools, and so on. So if you saw my other video about Codex agent that developer used for coding tasks. ChatGPT agent is kind of the same thing, but it could do broader tasks. So it's not just a chat anymore. It's a kind of robot that has a lot of different tools to help you to do different tasks. In my next steps, I'm going to show you how to use agent, how to start with it. Then I'll show you a couple of use cases, but of course you can do much more than that use cases. So at the end of the video, you will be able to use agent without any problem. To get started with ChatGPT agent, simply open chatgpt.com and select agent mode in the tools menu. You will need at least plus subscription and there is only 40 prompts available. You will see the amount of prompt that left in the tooltip near the agent mode menu. After you turn on the agent, then you will need to write the prompt. The more descriptive prompt you give, the better result you will get. In your prompt, actually, you can specify tools that the agent can use, size that it needs to crawl, format of the document that you want to get as a result, and so on. For example, I'll give this simple prompt, complete my uh, top five computer address analysis, and at the end, give me a spreadsheet as a result. It's a really vague and simple instruction, so I use it just for demonstration parts. The agent works, you'll see a play-by-play -play of its action on the screen. There is an additional menu available. With this menu, you can stop an agent at any time. You can look at the action history, and you also can take the control of the browser. So basically, the agent working in the virtual environment, it's kind of real computer that you also could have access to. For instance, time to time, you would need to log into certain thing or add some credential but of course you have to be careful with it if you notice that actually agent do something wrong you can always pause it and adjust your instruction so this is quite good because this ai assistant can listen to you and adjust the work that it's doing okay it seems the work is done this is top highlights and this is my cv file so now i can download it and explore what is inside okay it seems the file is populated. There is some data. Maybe it's not exactly the things that I want, but I didn't specify the good instruction. But at least it's did the research and produced the final result. I ask spreadsheet and I've got the spreadsheet. Okay, let's try another example. This time I will ask the agent to plan my trip. I'll highlight to the agent that I have 10 days off and I want to go somewhere. I have specific budget and I said that I have Thai passport. So I want agent do the research and suggest me tickets, hotel, and country to go. The cool thing with the agent, if you set up everything properly, you actually can give your credit card details, access to your calendar, and then the agent can actually book everything for you. So you don't have to book it by yourself. Okay, I answer and follow up questions from the agent and start my task. And as you could see, the agent start do some research. And like I mentioned earlier, you are actually able to see everything on the screen, almost everything. And you can see what agent actually is doing right now. I think this kind of transparency is pretty good because if you see something is going wrong, you can stop the agent, you can take over the screen, adjust something there, and then let the agent continue the work. 
since I haven't set up the credit card details and didn't connect other tools. My agent could not do the booking, but it provides detailed instruction, top highlights, and recommendations. So in about 17 minutes, the agent did the research, find for me hotels, air tickets, do kind of comparison between different websites, suggest me country to travel, and share with me some tips. It's pretty cool. And I think this kind of agents has a lot of potentials. So as you could see under the hood, ChatGPT agent has access to multiple tools and skills. So the agent runs in isolated virtual machine. It could access external APIs and connect to different things. So it can create presentations, spreadsheets, and even images inside your Google Drive. Okay, so let's try the last example. I'm going to ask the agent to create uh, slides for me. And I want it does the search about coffee consumptions around the world. The important thing about the agent, you actually don't have to open your computer. Once you give it a task, you can turn off your computer and come back to see the result later. So basically at the same time, you can do another task. And once the agent is ready, you will get the notification. And it seems my presentation is ready and let's check it out. As you can see, there's some pictures. I have nine slides here. Maybe it's not super perfect, but it's definitely a good starting point because then we can adjust it by ourselves or we could ask the agent to do the change for us. As you could see, I have charts, I have images, I have text. Yeah, seems the agent did some great job. And the important part, the agent actually didn't use only its knowledge, but it's also searched the internet. It means the data should be up to date. And if we are happy, we can download the result and fix it by ourselves further. And that's it. As you could see, it's really powerful. There's a bunch of use cases how you can use it. I will play around with it and maybe create another video where I'll show you how I use ChatGPT agent. If you like this video, please click like. If you don't like this video, it's okay. You can click dislike, but please share with me your feedback and comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Like and share this video with your friends. It will help me develop this channel even further. And of course, thank you so much for your support and thank you so much for you watching this video till the end. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.